This 50 million sword can do over a billion damage. This forgotten bow is insane for healing. And this underrated setup literally makes you immortal. In this video, I'll be covering some forgotten items that are kinda insane. The Midas Sword that can be obtained from the Dark Auction used to be one of the best weapons in the game. Why? Well, cause it has a special passive. Depending on the coins you spend trying to acquire it, it will get bonus damage. Now the cap is 50 mil, which used to be a lot back in the day, making this the most powerful weapon in Skyblock. But stuff happened, mainly dungeons. And the Midas Sword has turned into an old relic of the past. But through my research, as in... I was able to find a few things. First, let's compare the damage of my Midas Staff with my Giant Sword. My Giant Sword and Midas Staff both have the same enchants and upgrades. Except for Gilded, cause Gilded is better for Midas. Now, the Giant Sword absolutely destroys the Midas outside of dungeons. But according to a poll I did, it's really good for LCM. Cause the Midas Sword can be dungeonized and has extra mana. I tested it in dungeons on Crypt Undead at a 12 block distance. And I was able to do 1.7 million damage with the Midas, but only 1.2 million with the GS. But there was one thing I noticed. The giant sword became better if I used my mage gear instead of crimson. Also, according to this video, Midas can actually dish out some competent damage numbers. Also, Midas has one more ace up its sleeve. With a golden dragon, it gets way better compared to the giant sword, as one of golden dragon's perks buffs golden weapons. And the Midas sword just happens to be a golden weapon, making it the second best weapon for left click mage but there are a few issues first it is the niche it belongs to left click mage may be popular among really high level players but you can't beat the simplicity of simply using a term or juju and there's also the fact that becoming a left click mage requires you to be really high kata like at least 47 48 and you also need a golden dragon which is a really big investment to make it significantly better than the giant sword and there's also the fact that if you're a kata 47 player with a g drag then you can probably afford a dark claymore which is the best lcm weapon in the game so is it good eh i mean for look at lcm maybe but you're better off using a hype or short bow anyways so the midas sword is in like this limbo state it's not bad but it doesn't really have a place in the meta in spite of its high damage also the midas sword takes a lot of time to sell and i'm lazy so i'm gonna be giving it away all you have to do is like this fed sub to the channel and comment anything you want and i literally give one of you a free Midas sword. I'll be considering comments until the 1st of January. So don't forget to sub and comment if you want to win a free Midas. And yes, I'm just doing this because I'm salty because of a comment. So yeah, let's prove this guy wrong. Next, we've got a really OP item. You wanna guess? Okay then, it's a bow and it requires a T4 Slayer boss drop. Yep, it is the term Mosquito Bow. Crafted by using the digested mosquito dropped from the T4 Tarantula boss, the Mosquito Bow is quite something. It's got damage comparable to the Juju, which is literally half its price. And it's not even a short bow. So does this have any place in the meta? Well, damage wise, no. But maybe there's another use for it, like for support or something. I mean, the last breath is insane for bosses well the mosquito bow has an ability that heals you basically every sneak shot consumes 11 percent of your mana and gives you 2x of the mana cost as health which is eh. like let's say you've got 5000 mana then that's like 1100 hp which is decent but considering how you have tens of thousands of hp inside of dungeons it's a lot slower compared to other forms of healing but maybe there's a way to increase the healing rate first i tried adding enchants to the bow to see if any of them buffed it and one of them dead. Piercing is an enchant that well pierces enemies and gives you healing from multiple sources. So that's good but maybe we could buff it even more. So I tried using bouncy arrows while picking archer and sadly it didn't work and my health boost was the same. Now I tried a different method. There's this enchant called rend that basically allows you to call back your arrows and do extra damage and I thought if I'm able to use this inside of the F6 boss fight it would be broken as I could literally heal to full hearts with a push of a button and unlike the other items it would be completely free well sadly it didn't work 
and I got butchered. But there was another thing that worked. It seems the Reaper mask actually buffs the mosquito bow's healing, meaning it's a really insane healing weapon with literally no cooldown, as 11% mana is nothing. So why doesn't anybody use it? Well, because it's not convenient. Unlike traditional healing items like the florid zombie sword or gloom lock, it's really janky. You need mobs around you for this, and you need a full bow pull, making this weapon pretty useless in tense combat. And for stuff like M6 where you need quick healing and have mobs around you, the gloom lock is just better, and it also costs a lot less. So yeah, you're buying an inferior product for 10 times the price. Wow. So yeah, while its healing capabilities are decent, it's a pain to use. But I did read about some people using it in M6, so if anyone knows about it, let me know in the comments. Next we've got the Soulless Award. You've probably heard about it, no? Well, probably cause it's useless. It costs soul flow and gives you invincibility for 5 seconds. Do you know how short that- Do you know how painfully average that is? In comparison, the Wither Cloak Sword gives you invincibility for 10. And it also doesn't half your damage. Unless you're a mage. Now, I was going through random forum posts. And this was the whole reason I made this fit. But the Soulless Award can technically make you invincible. Now, it's not just the the Soulless Award and there are a bunch of items involved. But here's how it works. Now this post assumes you have infinite mana regen, so keep that in mind. So how it works is, you use your Soulless Award, that's like 5 seconds of invincibility. Then you use your cloak and wear a spirit mask, and that's 12 seconds of invincibility. Then you spawn your phoenix, that's 4 seconds of invincibility. And now your S Award cooldown should be done. Then do the first two things, but now use a Bonzo mask, and then an S Award and and then cloak and spirit mask. This should give you a combined invincibility of 58 seconds. Now this is probably impossible, but there's another use as well. In M6, let's say you're a low level tank, but have strong enough DPS teammates. Well, 5 seconds is plenty to destroy the terrors. You void everyone's damage and they destroy the terrors. And unlike the cloak, you won't lose mana after each hit. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. But you could probably just use masks and a cloak for a similar effect. So yeah, this was a weird Vera Shield Amida Sword giveaway. Also, I found out that old non meta items could have a use, but there are better alternatives. So, yeah, sub. If I was to say, thank you for the support, you like this, you know, I don't know much more. I don't know if you want to know my videos on the sword, and hopefully, comment and read all comments.